Okay, this will be the final video. Um, and here we will put everything together and just do a couple of final touches and make it shine. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, decrease the size of these ellipses and change their opacity as they go um, from top to bottom. So I'm gonna speed up while I do this. And once I'm done, I will get back to you. Okay, so we have the first ball decreasing size as it goes from right to left and also changing the opacity. So the opacity property is over here and the scale is what we changed. We didn't actually change the size. It makes more sense to actually modify the scale in this situation. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, this animation and just copy paste it for all of these individual ones. So as the actual movement and everything is the same, we can either go and select only these keyframes or we can just select everything like, um, because all of it is reflected in each of these um, individual ellipses. So we're gonna hit control C and then go to each of these individual balls. And then making sure that we start at the point where the first keyframe starts, hit control V and just see cool it's working. And then I'm gonna do this for every single one. Okay, and there we have it. Now we have a complete animation from start to finish. As you can see, all of them are, well, at least not start to finish. We are not finished yet. Okay, but the next thing that we're gonna do is go back to design. I didn't actually show you um, or show me doing this. I didn't record that. Is for this border, you can see that it has like a rounded edge at the edge of its um, path. And that is because I set the cap to round. By default, it's set to square, but we want it to be a rounded cap because that just looks better. Then the next thing that we're gonna do is um, we're going to select this border. I also don't think I recorded me renaming this to be border. I don't remember. But either way, we're going to take the border and hit Control J. J. So Control J. And uh, it's a bit of a mouth out there. And rename this to be border trail. And let's hit T for translate and just move that down slightly. And now you can see what we want to do is we want to set the opacity to maybe 0 0.3. And you can see it's it's a it's a lighter shade. So it's more see-through than the top one. And let's make sure that's center aligned. And then we're gonna go to animate and we're gonna select border and we're gonna take this animation, all of it, control C and hit control C, and then we're gonna copy paste it to the border the border trail. And now if we hit play, it's exactly the same. But what we want to do is we want to slightly offset the animation. So we're gonna select it and hit Alt, right click, and we're gonna do that five times. So move it ahead by five frames. And now hit play. And now you can see there is a slight trail behind the border. Pretty cool effect. One thing that I also would like to do, and which I should have done before I did the border trail, is if we look at the borders interpolation, it's set to linear. We want that to also be cubic. So we're gonna set that to cubic, and we're gonna set this one to cubic, and the same for this one. And then let's hit play. And now you can see there's a bit of a stop. That is because it goes down and technically the animation is not finished. The entire animation is from this point up until here. And it's stopping here because it's easing out and then immediately it's easing out from this key interpolation and then from this one it's easing in again. So what we actually want to do is for this one, we don't want it to ease out. We just want an easy in. And over here, we only want it Oh, I actually did it wrong. Let's hit Control Z, Z. This key interpolation, I want it to ease in. And this one, I want to ease out. And let's hit play. 
and that is a lot smoother. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one again, Control C, go to border trail, and then just copy paste it over here and hit play. And there we have an animation. So you can see there's like a jaggedy end. It's not finishing. That is because if we say show selected to show all, you can see that our timeline is, or at least that's what I expect is happening. Our timeline is cutting off when before it's actually finished. So let's just move the timeline up ahead a bit. Okay, so at some point I made a mistake. We go to border and expand this. I guess this is part of animation is debugging. And we look at the offset, the stroke end is at 65. And here it should be back to 50. So we go just gonna set this end value to be at 50 again. And we're gonna do the exact same for the border trail. The end value should be at 50. Hit play. And perfect, we have it.